से अमीर एनी और वॉचिंग माई चैनल इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड एजुकेशन वीडियो सो हियर आई विल प्रोवाइड द कम्प्लीट एनालिसिस ऑफ शिफ्ट वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ जेई मीन्स एज यू ऑल नो टुडे इज द सेकंड डे ऑफ एग्जाम सो फॉर फर्स्ट शिफ्ट एज इट इज ओवर एंड आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो लिटिल बिट लेटर बिकॉज आई वॉज आई वॉज टेकिंग द फीडबैक फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट सो आफ्टर गेटिंग लॉट्स ऑफ फीडबैक फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट आई एम हियर टू प्रोवाइड यू द कम्प्लीट एनालिसिस एंड ऑल्सो एट द लास्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड यू द मार्क्स वर्सेज परसेंटाइल डेटा ऑल द वे फ्रॉम फोर्टी अप टू नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन एंड ऑल्सो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द कट ऑफ मार्क्स डेट यू नीड टू हैव इन ऑर्डर टू बी एलिजिबल फॉर जे एडवांस एग्जामिनेशन पार्टिकुलरली फॉर दिस सिप सो इफ यूर फर्स्ट टू माई चैनल प्लीज ट्राई टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो विल बी गेटिंग ऑल द अपडेट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द सेम चैनल एट द राइट टाइम एंड ऑल्सो एट द टाइम ऑफ काउंसिलिंग I will be guiding you. There is a nominal charge for that. Once you register, I will be guiding you completely for everything. Up to your admission is done. Choice, filling, decision making, uh, document verification, everything, and not only for JOSA CSE but for other counselling, other entrance exam, also whatever you will do this year. So if you want, you can contact me that time. So here basically I will consider all subject wise difficulty level. So first of all, I would like to provide you the first reaction. What I have got from the student is the paper was a little bit unique this time. I don't know how much it is correct because I am providing you the feedback. back based on the a uh, student but they were like this time nt have asked a little bit unique question uh, in all the three subjects so that will make the paper a little bit difficult so everything i will be considering here in this video only and i will try to provide you the difficulty level marks versus percentile and also the name of chapter that you need to focus if your exam is next that is what are the chapter from where most number of question were asked so first of all let's get started with the mathematics as you can expect this is the this is the toughest paper among all the three subject and it is expected because mathematics is used to be toughest in every entrance exam so here also the same case but there was some tricky question from limit and derivative and there was easy question from mathematical reasoning or statistics as well and probability permutation combination these are the easy but the tough, uh, toughest question we are from integration conic section so these are the chapter from where they have asked the question so overall difficulty of the math paper was difficult not moderate it is difficult or some student can say it moderate to difficult but i will consider it difficult because most of the strength from where i have got the feedback they were not able to attempt all the question so that's why it is difficult so now if you talk about the other that is physics then physics was a little bit tricky but it it can be considered as easy to moderate level but there was some question that was tricky particularly from optics mechanics uh that is that required a little bit more time but there was easy question from modern physics current electricity electrostat alternating current EMI so these are the important chapter that you need to focus for the next shift so now if you ask about the chemistry so as per the expectation chemistry was easy but it was not totally easy because there was some tricky question from inorganic as well as organic also there was easy question from uh, physical chemistry polymer biomolecules and last chapter of 11 and 12 but there was tricky question from organic if your geosy part is good you will able to solve those question very well but if your geos is not good then you may face the problem and there was question from chemical bonding periodic table as well so these are the important thing that you can consider for the chemistry so this was all about the complete analysis of papers so now i will talk about the, uh, the marks versus percentile and also i will provide the minimum marks for this sip to be eligible for the advanced examination but before that one more time i would like to inform you i have already provided lots of information about the cut off of nit triple it gpti college and for iits as well you can check all those information in the different places available in the same channel and also at the time of admission process it is counseling process i will be guiding you completely so whenever you want you can contact me because the student are filling up fast so i will be taking a limited number of student because it is not possible to guide you personally and the unique feature of my guidance is that i will be talking to you personally and i will be available for you all the time from 10 am up to midnight and you can call me any number of time any time and this will help you to do the counseling in a better manner so that you will get the best out of your rank that is that is 100% my responsibility and not only for josa cse but for other entrance exam other counseling also i will be guiding you so that you will be able to join the best college for your btech course this year so let's continue with the marks versus percentile data so here is the marks versus percentile but only for this shift that is 26 shift 1 as you all know this year nt is providing little bit similar difficulty level as i have discussed uh, at the start of this video about the difficulty level but this time a little bit unique question we are there so it will have a effect on marks versus percentile so i am providing you it is completely based on the student feedback there may be a little bit change in the original result and after original result also i will try to provide you the same data so here is the information that is for 99.9 221 to 226 marks will be required and for 99.8 216 to 221 marks will be required and for 
207 to 212 marks will be required one more thing i would like to request to please try to support this channel i am working day and night for the student please try to make a little bit more subscription to, so that i will get some support from your side and also you will be getting all the update information at the right time so please try to do that so next if you talk about for 99.4 200 to 204 marks and for 99 181 to 184 and for 98 159 to 163 marks and for 97 150 to 153 marks and for 96 134 to 137 marks and for 95 120 to 124 marks and for 93 102 to 107 marks so one more thing i would like to inform you here that is your percentile will be purely affected by the number of a strand that will appear and the type of a strand that will appear in your particular shape there is nothing to do with other shift for your percentile because your percentile will be calculated from the strand whatever appear in your shift only nothing to think about other shift because it also depends on the number of a strand and type of a strand so nta provided uniform distribution so number of a strand will be almost similar in each shift but type of a strand may uh, may differ suppose if all the strand are average strand then you may be getting the better percentile at lower score even in easy shift also and vice versa also possible so this type of thing can be done so try to understand and hope you got my point whatever i want to tell you so for now if you talk about 90 percentile 82 85 and for 85 uh, 66 to 68 and for 80 57 to 60 75 50 to uh, 53 and for 70 43 to 45 60 38 to 40 marks and for 60 32 to 35 marks and for 50 28 to 30 marks and for 40 19 to 21 marks and a scoring marks will not be easy for the student particularly who have registered for the first time in j exam because all those students are from board exams and means after board exams and they have registered for the uh, J mains exemption so uh, it will not be easy for them to score marks that's why you will be getting a little bit better percentile at low marks also so i have discussed that so now let's talk about expected cutoff marks for the advanced exemption so here is general 71 to 74 and cutoff percentile will be 86 to 88 percentile and that, that will remain same for all the same marks will change in each shape due to the difficulty level so for ews 40 to 42 obc 41 to 43 sc 28 29 st 17 18 and for pwd you will be eligible if you have solved any one question so this was all about the complete analysis and marks versus percentile cut off marks for the advanced so everything i have discussed so hope you find this video very useful for you so please try to subscribe the channel so that you will be getting all the update in future days as well and during the counseling process if you want the complete counseling guidance you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box thanks